Mastering idiomatic expressions. Finding one's sea legs. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're exploring a very interesting idiom, finding one's sea legs. This expression is packed with imagery and history, and understanding it can add a fun, nuanced layer to your English conversations. So, let's set sail on this linguistic journey together and find out what it really means to find your sea legs. The phrase, finding one's sea legs, originally comes from a very literal situation. Imagine being on a ship for the first time, feeling the rocking motion of the sea beneath you. Initially, you might feel unsteady or even seasick. However, after a while, you get used to the movement. You learn to balance and move around confidently without falling over. This process of adaptation is what is referred to as finding your sea legs. Interestingly, we often use this expression in a figurative sense. When someone is finding their sea legs, it doesn't necessarily mean they're on a ship. It means they're getting accustomed to a new situation or environment. For example, starting a new job, moving to a new city, or learning a new skill can all be situations where one might need to find their sea legs. It's about becoming comfortable and proficient in a new or challenging context. To help you understand how to use this idiom in everyday conversations, let's look at some examples. It took me a few weeks to find my sea legs at my new job, but now I feel like I've been here forever. After moving to a new country, it can take a while to find your sea legs, but soon enough, you'll feel right at home. These examples show how versatile the expression is, applicable to various scenarios involving adjustment and learning. We hope this video has helped you understand the meaning and usage of the idiom, finding one's sea legs. It's a colorful expression that captures the essence of adaptation and growth, whether at sea or in any new venture in life. We encourage you to try using it in your conversations to add depth and a touch of nautical flair. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again soon for more insights into the English language. Happy learning, and may you always find your sea legs, no matter where your adventures take you.